Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy King Chaos and in the last episode there guys we we watched Colm swing and we destroyed the back, as you can see, the Bacchus bridge so now I have no idea what we're going to do looks like there's some more shit for Eagle's flight to be done may as well go to our rains fall anyway so May as well make our ass up there the new guys. <clears throat> so guys, I hope you've been enjoying this playthrough because I've been enjoying doing it for you. Archaeology. For beginners. Right, let's be having it. Not too far. Save again. Sorry about your leg, buddy, but you're fucked. Rapite. Yeah. Oh, it's the Indian Reservation. That's cool as anything. Look at the TPs. It's crazy how you can hear the war drums when you came onto the reservation. That's cool. Hey, where is it? There it is. Hello? Come in. <coughs> you don't sound very well. No. I think I'm dying. You find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lacked the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Uh, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I have killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. Maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in Saint Denis. I spoke with the mayor. 
It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Monroe? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. I just kind of shut one hey, to the natives. Up any more of your time. <coughs> I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know? If that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well... I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Yeah! Go on, get out of here! Good. There was no need to harm them. I was just drawing my weapons just in case. Talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. Hurry up, Mr. Morgan. Why are you riding off like that? I ain't riding anywhere. No, as I was saying, it's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So, I ain't exactly sure why I'm here. I guess our situations have become tough. Are you okay, Mr. Morgan? You mean with my son? Yes. I was there on the raid to steal back those horses, and, uh, well, you know something of Dutch, I think? A little. Mostly from your friend, Charles. I don't know why he's getting involved with Eagle Flies. But the two of them together, it's gonna be a problem. So what are you suggesting we do? The two of them were headed for Fort Wallace when I last saw them. I'll head over there, see if I can keep things from boiling over. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You got no reason to thank me yet. Hold up a moment. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. What the hell? A rock of some sort, a tannin rock. This is what I was looking for. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. Yeah, he's getting on his horse, isn't he? Nope, I don't know what he's doing.
So, conditions are that bad on the reservation? Yes. This conflict with Colonel Favors and his regiment at Fort Wallace continues. Don't know where the horse is going, guys. The elders are sick, and the young feel that any compromise is an admittance of defeat. Yeah, compromise ain't an easy thing to learn. I felt like that once too. I was there 20 years ago for all the fighting and I saw where it led, but my people come to me for answers. And I have none. I cannot even guide my own son. It is hard to tell someone who is being treated unfairly not to fight back. Dutch used to tell me that revenge was a fool's game. But now, feels like he's developed a compulsion for him. Any action without violence is difficult. Especially when my son is involved, but when the intent becomes violence, that's when the cycle begins. Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. This will combine well. There, I'll put these in your saddlebag. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. So, you were saying? But when the intent becomes violence, that's when the cycle begins again. <laughs> yeah, I've been in that cycle my whole life. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. It's all right, I'll work something out. If I get enough money together, I can always head out west to one of those sanatoriums in California. I still got some options. Well, I wish you all the best. Crazy views for up here. I'm just keeping my eyes peeled because no doubt my luck there's going to be a bear or some shit going to eat me just now. Getting lower down. No one to talk here anymore. This place I just came through. No! They destroyed everything. I need to find the Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. 
There's something there. Whiskey bowl. <clears throat> There's some whiskey here. Okay. Let me give this some more thought. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Logs. Uh, there's some logs here they must have used as kindling. There's something up here also. No, he's fair. They couldn't have gone too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinooka. No, it looks like they was doing some drinking. I see no end to any of this. Right. Still a fair few clues to be inspecting here. There's something else just here, there, it's there. Look there. Smoke. Where? Do you have any binoculars? Certainly do. Must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But but I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. No, they've taken the last hope. Now my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. Would you do that? Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. No, I don't need your money. All right, two seconds, guys. Let me see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. Try not to hurt anyone. He doesn't know Arthur Morgan very well, does he? Right, let's go there. Yeah. Right, go then, horse. Do this for me. I would very much appreciate it. Ah, oh, take, take, it's no letting me take the fucking. That's my dog deciding to move a bit, guys, if you can hear him toe tapping. Oh, those just threw silk to the ground like a bag of potatoes. I'm taking the Lancaster. I don't know why the horse would not, what, like, run.
You're silly, though. I know. Who wants to fight them? Who cares? My uncle married an Indian anyway. She seemed nice enough. An Indian? What's that? with this hole. So. Taking them all down with a knife. There you go. Wait, then there was that big chest in over here, but they've been in that chest. This one. Clearly not. So where the hell is this thing? It's not over there. Must be inside here somewhere. Big tent maybe. Horse them on. But yeah, gone. So where the hell is this? No, I can't find this bloody thing.
poison auto pamphlet. <coughs> Fair enough. Okay, let's go. Keep running off, I'll keep it going, son. He's refusing to run now. Huh? Here. I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes. Thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak. And pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. And I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Mm-hmm. Ar Archaeology for beginners. Well, I've ended up on a put on off no. Okay, girl. Been a while. Haha, <laughs> that was quite cool running jump straight on now. Yep. Right. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it said something about there being male. <coughs> What's that? Captain Monroe. Eagles fly. Run up and see what Captain Monroe's saying. Horse is hungry, I think. I'll quickly give myself some munchables again. And I'll wash it down with some fine brandy or something. Wrong fucking thing. Where's the bra? Quam or rum, that'll do the trick.
Well, this is the part where I just was. Nope. How far away are we now? Jeez, oh, that was, was quite a distance. You're not going to drag that horse, no? There you go. I'll be quicker running. seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made. Apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. Supposed to be heading to a PD after coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. <laughs> Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. I have been knowing out of the caution Arthur's going to show. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Put that up just first. Oh, it's not even letting me pull Listen. weapons out yet. I just wasted. Oh, well, there they go. So no, I did not. <coughs> he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, uh, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, 
Just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right. This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Don't let me pull the rifle. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. All I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. That was quick. Let's get the house out of here, man. Oh, I can't. Seriously? I'll pause. The worst outlaw ever. Quick chaos, we gotta go, gotta go. And I'd run straight into a wall with a horse. I'm gonna throttle my horse with some more drugs. <laughs> yep. There we go. <clears throat> Run like the wind, bullseye.
Captain Monroe? I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. I'll have to take your word for that. We can both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past care about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. Hmm. I hope so. Hope so, I had to be done. I hope so. I... You're going to get killed. I thought that was kind of a weird way ending that one. But guys, this is your boy King Chaos. I'm going to end this episode here. So if you like this episode, like, subscribe and hit the bell. And I shall see you in the next one, guys. Bye.